What are hairdressers really like? I was asked that question once as part of an evaluation on how best to communicate with hairdressers from a marketing perspective. I went on about how hairdressers are people's people. They're fun, they're bright, they're happy, they're articulate, they're resourceful, creative, passionate, good communicators. But then I reflected on it and I realized that, you know what, hairdressers as a group of people, they aren't like that any more than any other group of people. Maybe 20% of them, 20% of the people on your team or in our industry are. You see, like any industry, no matter what country you live in, you will have some amazing, multi-talented, committed people with all the above attributes and more. But we also have our fair share of dead wood, which is probably another 20% at the bottom of the pile who are unmotivated, uninspired, lethargic, and just going through the motions. As a manager, dealing with that bottom 20% will take up most of your time and energy, and in all probability, they will never change, no matter what you do. But then there's the undecided. The undecided are the 60% in the middle of our workforce, or on your team, who in political terms are called the swinging voter. They're the undecided, who have the ability to go one way or the other. Just like the 60% of people in our industry are on your team who can go one way or the other. They could become like the top 20%, the highly productive, passionate and inspired. Or they could just as easily become like the bottom 20%, the unmotivated, totally uninspired, lazy and lethargic. So we have this 20% at the top, we have another 20% at the bottom, and then the 60% in the middle. Which group is poorly paid, miserable, totally disillusioned about the hairdressing industry, the salon they work in and their career in general. And which group do you think are the most fulfilled? Which group are paid the most? Which group are the happiest in their jobs and their lives? Which group has the most opportunities and more rewarding relationships and brighter future? Obviously, it's that 20% at the top of our industry or any industry on your team or someone else's team, who are the ones that are fulfilling their potential and leading a better life because of it. So what does it take to be in that top 20%? Well, it's not just about having the technical and creative skills, but that's a good start. In fact, that's essential. But if you work for someone else, it starts with having the right attitude. An attitude is about the choices that you make every day and about how you decide to perceive the opportunities in the world around you. Leadership and attitude determines what the 60% in the middle will gravitate towards. If you're the owner or manager, your role is to be a leader, to coach and lead the 60% in the middle to the top of the pile by instilling and nurturing the right attitude in them. If you work for someone else, your job is to make the right choices, to take ownership of your attitude and your life. If you're not already in that top 20%, it starts with the right mindset. So make the decision that that is where you belong. Once you've made the decision, then you're on your way there. Then all you have to do is live up to it. So thank you for watching. And if you don't already subscribe to the Two Minute Salon Manager, you can do so by visiting growmysalonbusiness.com. Have a great week.